All right, here we go. Let's get ready for our phonics for the week. We are going to review our phonics skills before you take your phonics assessment. Now, remember, you want to have your phonics assessment page set up with the sounds on one side, the words on the other side, and then room for a sentence in your red words at the bottom, okay? Starting next week, you will have a page that you can write them on and you won't have to make your own. But today, we're going to make our own. All right, here we go. This week we have started learning about the very first of our H brothers who is named Chuck. And remember, he likes trains and he likes to go ch, 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 okay? We've talked about the H brother Chuck and he makes the ch sound. We know that the letters C, H, when they go together, they make the sound ch, right? There's a digraph, which means two letters that are stuck together and they make one new sound. The letters C, H together make the ch sound. We also learned about a trigraph, which means that there are three letters in this trigraph. And we put a dash in front of it to show us that the trigraph, T, C, H, says ch. Those three letters always go together, but they're always going to come at the end of a word or a syllable. Okay? Now, let's look at our pattern or our rules. When do we use C, H? Or when do we use TCH? Well, remember, if the ch sound comes at the beginning of a word, we are going to use the letters CH, always at the beginning. If we hear, or the if we see TCH at the end of a word, we know that, that, or that that's gonna be the end of the word or syllable because it can't come at the beginning. So TCH, we use that at the end. But not always. TCH is not the only way to spell ch at the end of a word. So let's look at those rules. All right. Now, we know that CH is used at the beginning, but it can also be used at the end of a word if that consonant sound comes before this ch sound. Like in our words, remember, lunch. They have that N that separates that short vowel from this ch sound, or ranch, or search, right? We also know that it comes, that CH comes after those long vowels, or those vowels that say their name, like beach, or peach, or teach, right? So if it has a long vowel, we use CH, or if it has another letter in between the vowel and the ch sound, we're going to use CH. But if we hear the short vowel or a vowel that says it's sound in the, in the middle of a word, we're going to use TCH, okay? Like in switch, ditch, stretch, okay? So we want to make sure we're listening for those vowel sounds to help us decide if we're going to use CH or TCH at the end of a word. All right, are you ready to write some words? I know you are, so here we go. I want you to look at your page. Remember, today on our phonics assessment, I don't show you the words. So you're going to write the words the best you can, listening for those vowel sounds and practicing the phonics skills we've used this week, okay? Here we go. Word number one, patch. 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 Word number two, chat. Remember, guys, you can pound and finger tap these words, too, to help you remember what sounds you hear. Word number two is chat. Chat. I heard it at the beginning. My next word, word number three is ditch. Ditch. <coughs> Ditch. Think about it. What kind of vowel do you hear? And where do you hear those ch sound? Word number four is chug. Chug. Chug.
My last word is lunch. 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 All right. We're going to move on. Oh, no. Do you know what Miss Gates forgot to do? I forgot to do our sounds. So we wrote our words, but let's write our sounds, okay? Here we go. Let's look at our first sound, all right? We know one way to make this sound. Let's show me the way to make the I sound. I. I. Show me the letter or letters that make the I sound. The second letters that I want you to write, I know three ways to make this sound. I want you to write the sounds or the letters or letters that make the k sound. Three ways. Three ways to make the k sound. No, sound number three. We know two ways to spell this sound. My sound is ch. This one should be pretty easy. What are the two ways that we know that we can spell the ch sound? Ch. Ch. Number four. I want you to write down how do we make the ah sound. We know one way to spell ah. Write that down by sound number four. And sound number five today, we know two ways to make the f sound. F. Two ways. So you should have two sounds written down on that one. All right. Let's move on. We're going to write our sentence. And remember, this sentence is going to be pretty long. So I'm going to read it two times, and then I'll break it down slowly for you. But you can pause your video at any time if you need to catch up. Okay? Here is our sentence. Ready? Chuck will fetch a pop to chug with his batch of chips. Chuck will fetch a pop to chug with his batch of chips. All right, here we go. Chuck will fetch. Chuck will fetch. Chuck will fetch a pop, a pop, a pop is like a Coke or a drink. So Chuck will fetch a pop to chug, chug means you drink something really fast. So fetch a pop to chug with his batch with his batch with his batch of chips of chips of chips. All right, so I'm going to read it one more time. Chuck will fetch a pop to chug with his batch of chips. Very good. All right, the last part is we're going to practice our red words for the week. Let's see who can spell them. Our first word is does. 
Does anyone know how to spell this word? Does. 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 Our next word, first, first. Last year you were in first grade, first. Word number three is made, made. I made a video for you to watch today, made. made. And our fourth red word for today is very, very, very. All right. Good job, guys. Don't forget, you need to take a picture of this page and submit it on Seesaw so Ms. Gates can see how well you guys did on your assessment today. All right. See you later.